Hi, welcome to Character One, Part One. We are going now to build the base of our first rolling character. And after that, we will start to animate it. Let's hop over to Cinema 4D. So you just open a new document. You go up here, you click this button and we change this to 1080 by 1080 because that's a good format for Instagram in this case. So make sure to be on frame rate 30 because that's a nice frame rate to work in. All right, just close it. And here we have our nice square format. We need our first element of the character. So we go up here and we choose a cylinder. So here we have our cylinder. We go here to the object and give it 48 centimeters as radius. 200 is great. And let me change quickly this to quick shading and lines so you see better what's happening. Because now we're going to change the rotation segments to 64, so we have it a bit smoother. The orientation we want Z, because it will roll in this direction. And here we go. Next step, we create a null object. And we call it base. And we drag this cylinder into base. Good. We start animating now our base. So just select it go to frame zero, go here to coordinates, and we want it to rotate in this direction. So you just give it a keyframe on zero. We go to 30 and turn it half spin, so 180. Set a keyframe. We go to 60 and make a full spin and set the keyframe again. Great, here we can change it to 60 because that's all we need. We just have a two seconds animation. So we're going to tweak now our curves. And to do that, we go up here, window, and we choose F curves, timeline F curves. We drag this next to here. So we have it nicely next to our scene. And here you see all our keyframes so far. So we just select all of them. We click now this button which gives us a standard ease in and ease out. So we are sure we have the same for everyone. And we click play and we see now that we have a nice ease in, ease out, ease in, ease out. So next thing, we also want this while it is rotating, it will move forward in the X direction. And to do that, we have to calculate how long it has to roll when it turns. So we, I use this website called PyDay. You can use whatever you want to calculate your circumference. You enter 48 and it gives us approximately 300 centimeters. So now we know that by turning once, the cylinder will roll 300 centimeters forward. So we choose our base and we go again to zero. We go on X, make a keyframe, go to 30. We know it's a half spin, so it moves a 150 centimeters keyframe and we go to 60 and put in a 300 and set another keyframe good so now if we go back to our curves the plus button gives us the position and the rotation so far we choose all select all the keyframes and give it again the standard is in and is out and now you can see that it's rolling nicely forward Good. So this is already quite satisfying. We will now add our eye because that's what we need next. To do that, we go always back to zero. Let's add a sphere. The sphere, we give it, we go to object and we give it a 16 centimeters and of radius and 32 segments. So it is again smoother. Let's click away our base for now. So we can focus on the sphere. And we will pack this sphere into a null. So a shortcut to do that, rather than going here and creating a null and put it in there, we just select our sphere and you push option G and you have your sphere in the null object. So let's call this eyeball. 
Good. We need another null. Again, the same thing. We choose eyeball, option G. We have a new null. We call it I center. All right. So let's move to our front view. Okay. And let's bring back our base. This just toggles it on and off. And now we see our cylinder and our sphere. We want now to move the eyeball, not the eye center, but the eyeball up that it is lying exactly on our cylinder. All right. And to do that, we know that we need, we go to the coordinates, choose Y. We give 48 centimeters because that's the radius of our cylinder plus 16 because that's the radius of our eyeball. And you press enter and we have it exactly there. Good, let's go back to the perspective so we see it a bit better. And now we have our eye lying on top of our cylinder. So now we pack the eye center into the base. Okay, and now our eye is moving with the cylinder. We need now to move the eye center. We need to rotate it against the cylinder's rotation that it stays on top. So to do that, we choose the eye center, go on zero. It is again this axis. We give it a keyframe. We go to 30, give it in this case a minus 180. Set the keyframe, go to 60, minus 360. And another keyframe. Good, so now if we press play, we see this is wobbling. That's because we have to adjust again our curves. So we choose all. This button here gives us the view of all the selected keyframes. Select them in here and click the ease in and ease out. And now we see it stays exactly on top. Good, so our eye also needs a uh, rotation because it will rotate against the cylinder as well. Good, so to do that again, we go to zero. We choose now the eyeball, okay? We give it a keyframe and let's calculate again how often this has to turn. So here we had 48 gives us 300. If we give 16, which is our eyeball, we have 100. So we know that it has to turn three times to make a spin around the whole cylinder. Okay, so. We go in here, we set a keyframe on zero. We go to 30. We know that it has to turn one and a half spin. So minus 360, one spin, minus 180. Set a keyframe, go to 60, and three times 360, so three spins. Set a keyframe, go again up here, choose all, Ease it in and ease it out. And here we go. We have now our rotating eye on top of our cylinder. Good, this is looking great. One thing I like also to do is if we go to the sphere, we can rotate this on 90 degrees. So we can have this references our eye pupil. So next thing we just need to have a camera movement that follows our character. And there exist many ways. I like this way because it is the easiest I found so far. And to do that, we just go up here, we create a new null and we call it all. And we go back to zero and we choose all. And as we know, the whole action takes 300 centimeters. So we just choose all. Go on X, zero, go on 60 and move it minus 300 against. And we set a keyframe. And now we have all in our curves. Let's choose just the position of all. And this time I want not the ease, but a linear movement because it's a linear traveling of the camera. Good, go back to zero and just pack the base into all. And if we press play now, we see that the camera is moving with our object. I like it because now I can turn around however I want and I always have a seamless loop. 
another thing is the frame 0 and the frame 60 have to be completely identical because that's when the loop picks again up. But we don't need these frames twice, so we have enough with 59 frames. And now our loop is perfectly smooth and seamless. All right, I hope you enjoyed this part. We move now into part two, where we add the rest of this thing and start tweaking also our curves. See you in a bit.